Okay, so this is the Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 2, 2022, question 4. To start with, we've got one of these uh, trig identity proofs. It's the tan one, so we've got to prove that... So we've got to prove that the tan of A minus B is equal to tan A minus tan B over 1 plus tan A, tan B. So we're going to start with uh, tan A minus B. So that's equal to tan is sine over cos, so tan A minus B is sine A minus B divided by cos A minus B. Now these trig identities are in your table, so you can just read them off. But sine A minus B is sine A cos B. Sine A cos B minus sine B cos A. And cos A minus B is cos A cos B. Plus sine A, sine B. So what we're going to do next is we're going to divide by this term here because we need a 1 here. So divide each, divide each of these four terms by cos A, cos B. So let's just write that out. So we get sine A, cos B over cos A, cos B. B minus sine B cos A over cos A cos B and then the denominator cos A cos B over cos A cos B plus sine A sine B cos A cos b. Okay, so I'm just running out of room here, so I'm just going to move over to the right a little bit. Now we have on the top here, we've got sine a over cos a, which is tan a. Here then we've got cos b over cos b, so that's just 1. We've got minus, and then over here we've got sine b over cos b, sine b over cos b is tan b. And then we have a cos A, cos A here, cos B, cos B here. Okay, down at the bottom here then we've got cos A, cos B over cos A, cos B. So they're just going to give us uh, 1. And then we have the plus. And then finally here we've got cos A over, or sorry, we've got sine A over cos A. We've got sine B over cos B. So this is tan A, tan B. And that's it. Okay, so let's move on then to question two, or part two of question A. So right tan 15 degrees in the form root A minus one root A over root A plus one, where A is a natural number. Okay, so, okay, so we're probably gonna be using what we've just done. So let's have a look. Tan of 15 degrees. Well, that's just going to be equal to the tan of 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. Now, this is tan A minus B, which is what we've just done. So that's going to be tan of A, which is 60 degrees, minus tan B, which is 45 degrees, divided by 1 plus tan of A times tan of B. So presumably when we work this out, we're going to get what they asked us to get. So tan of 60 degrees, so you should have this again in your tables, but uh, you should maybe even know it at this stage. But tan of 60 degrees is root 3. Tan of 45 degrees is 1. Here we have 1 plus. Tan of 60 degrees again is root 3. Tan of 45 degrees is 1. So Finally, we get we want it in this format up here, remember? So we want root 
3 minus 1 over root 3 plus 1. So that's it there. Um, root a plus 1, root a minus 1, so that's what we've done, and a is a natural number, so that's fine. Okay, so part b then. So the triangle ABC shown in the diagram below. Now AC is equal to BC. So AC and BC are equal. So this is an isosceles triangle, which means we can work out these two angles here if we want. The angle ACB is 45 degrees, which we've been given. And AB is this thing here, which we're given as well. Find the length AC. So we've got to find this length here. Now, there are two or three different ways of doing this. Now I'll do them each way and we'll see how we get on, see do we get the same answer. The first way I'm going to do it is I'm going to drop a perpendicular. Well actually what I'll do first is I'll just work out these two angles here. So really this is method one. So really in the exam, whichever method you think of first uh, just have a quick think about it, and if that if that makes sense, just go with it. Uh, let's see. We're going to take 180 degrees, and we're going to subtract 45 degrees. We're going to divide that by two. Now, when you do that, you get 67.67.5 degrees. So that means this angle here is 67.5, and this angle here is 67.5 degrees. Now the first thing I'm going to do then is just divide this triangle into two right angle triangles. I'm going to just drop this down here so we've got a right angle triangle here. So this distance here is going to be half of this distance here. Let's call it ABC. Let's call this D here for example. This point here is D. So the distance AD is just going to be equal to 5 times the square root of 2 minus root 2. So that's um, this distance, this distance here, a to d. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is just use cosine. So the cos of 67.5 degrees is equal to 5 times the square root of 2 minus root 2 over the distance AC. What I need to do here is this is over 1, cross multiply and divide, I get the distance AC, so I'm doing two steps in one here, I'm cross multiplying and then dividing by cos 67.5. It's going to be equal to 5 times the square root of 2 minus root 2 divided by cos 67.5 degrees. Now when you do that you'll actually get 10, so 10 let's say units. Okay, so that's it. That's the distance from A to C. That's our answer. That's what we were asked to do. And you probably spotted here anyway that it doesn't say give your answer to two decimal places or three decimal places or a third form or anything like that. So when you work it out, you would assume that we're going to get a nice, neat terminal decimal or in this case, just uh, 10 units. Okay, so let's look at another method for doing it then, okay? Uh, method 2. Now, obviously in the exam here you just need one of these methods. But the next method I'm going to use is just the sine rule. So I'm going to say the sine of 45 degrees divided by this here, 10 root 2 minus root 2. Uh, sine 45 over this is equal to sine 67.5 over what we're looking for. Then cross multiply and look out, uh, work out rather uh, AC. So let's do that. So we have sine 45 degrees divided by 10 times the square root of 2 minus root 2 is going to be equal to the sine of 60, what was it, 67.5 divided by the distance from A to C. So if we cross multiply here, we get the distance from A to C times sine 45 degrees is equal to uh, 10 root 2 minus root 2 multiplied by the sine of 67.5 degrees. And then finally our distance AC 
is equal to all of this, 10 times the square root of 2 minus root 2, sine 67.5 degrees divided by sine 45 degrees. Okay, and again the distance AC you'll find is 10 units. So that's the second way of doing it. Now the third way I'm going to do it is using the cosine rule. So this is method three. So in this case I'm going to say, because this is an isosceles triangle, this is going to work, I think. So this squared here is equal to this squared plus this squared plus twice this times this cos 45. So if I call this here, let's say, let's say we call this side here x. So if that's x, this is going to be x here. So in other words, the distance from a to c I'm going to call x. And also the distance from b to c is x because it's an isosceles triangle. So we're going to say that the distance from a to c equal x which is also equal to the distance from, what was it, a, a c to b. Okay, so using the cosine rule then, we're going to get the 10 times the square root of 2 minus root 2 squared is equal to x squared plus x squared minus twice x times x cosine 45 degrees. Now if we square this here we get, uh, let's see, we want to get, this is going to be 100 times 2 minus root 2. On this side here we're going to get 2x squared. Here we're going to get minus 2x squared. Cos of 45 is 1 over root 2. Okay, so we have 100 times 2 minus uh, root 2 is equal to 2x squared minus, now this is 2x squared divided by root 2, 2, I'll do it out fully, so 2x squared divided by root 2. Now, so we have 100 times 2 minus root 2 is equal to 2x squared minus, well root 2 goes into 2, root 2 times, so this is root 2 x squared because root 2 times root 2 is equal to 2, okay? So here we've got 100 times 2 minus root 2 is equal to 2 minus root 2 times x squared, that will give me x squared, I just factorized out the x squareds there, is equal to 100 times 2 minus root 2 all divided by 2 minus root 2. So you can see what's going to happen here. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost running out of room anyway, so it's good. So this will divide into this here. So we've got x squared is equal to 100. And again, then x here must be equal to 10. Plus or minus 10, but it can't be minus. So it's going to be 10 units, which is what we got the first two times. So that's the longer, most more detailed way of doing it, but first way is probably the simplest. There are probably other ways I can't think of off the top of my head at the moment, but anyway, that's this question completed.